Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another Washer of Realms video. I'm feeling so much better today. My my cold is is going away. Uh, I was coughing up so much, guys. It was feeling I was feeling just so bad the past few days, but um, feeling much better today. And I thought, all right, let's do an Halloween showcase video. You guys, it's the final day of the summons. If you didn't get her already, hope you have some, some summons to go for her. I believe Halloween is one of the best healers in the game. Not only because she's she does like great heals. She's also there for the rage region and I, I got her luckily last week so I didn't have to do summons this week. I did a few summons if I'm being honest but I was so sick I didn't even post that video. I was just so sick. I was coughing all the time. My eyes were red. I thought this is a crap video. Uh, I did like 50 summons or so also it wasn't anything too great. I thought yeah this is not this is not going up on the channel. It's just I'll take a day and then uh, hopefully it'll get better. Lots of tea warm uh warm coffee instead of the cold brew right and uh yeah just chilling so Elowin, why is she so good she has this passive guys nature's favor gives you rage regen per second that she's on the board okay this is a fantastic passive that you want to be skilling up as soon as possible because this just gives you lots and lots of rage and you get your ultimates ultimates is where the damage comes through for your heroes you want to be targeting those big monsters those big enemies those bosses the boss shield time on the guild boss and then after that's the vulnerability you want to be using your ultimates at that time basically if i just summarize it to like a, a sentence that's that's the guild boss really as many ultimates as possible if if, if you want to get into more details that's for the high high end um of uh, the, you know the damage records in the game at the moment so why is she so good attack based healing um I don't go crazy over this i mean you can go and try and get more attack on her but really she will fall off in terms of survivability how how she can survive during a fight unfortunately uh, and then her ultimate ability is where things become interesting this is where she becomes much much better and if we have a look over on our website guys on boom warcodex.com you can actually go through and find all the heroes in the game okay and let's say you want to be looking for heroes that can do a cleanse there we go we have four heroes currently in the game that can do a cleanse a dispel of debuffs midan is the only accessible one in terms of being an epic and then elowin it's a fantastic one we will also have the somi and eunomia with a dispel um slash cleanse mechanic in their kits so elowin has that and in my opinion uh, that is why um, another reason why she becomes so good in every area of the game. As you can see, the content rankings right here is where her tier list rankings sit. She is a 10 in many areas of the game because she becomes such a great healer. Honestly, she, she should get a 10 in gear rate 3. Also, because of the ability to provide rage on her heroes, single target arena, AoE arena, anti-air arena. I mean, those depend really on what you want to be using your heroes for. You don't really get attacked, so she will be there just for the rage region. Sustained DPS, um, this has now gone from the game, but faction trials, artifact material, XP and gold rates, tide and void rift. Honestly, the only reason she's got like bad grades in artifact material and XP and gold is that She's not really used for end game setups. You don't need healing in those specific setups. You just go for more and more damage. But Void Rift and Tide, for sure, uh, you'll be using her. So, um, I think overall on the tier list, she is ranked number one. Yeah, number one, very close to Arrogance. And honestly, I could drop her off a little bit from the list. Um, if if I remove some things on the, uh, on the list, she, she'll drop off. And I think... The one that should get a 10 is, is honestly Dolores. Like she's even a 10 on gear rate 2. I need to update this because she she's she's really not a 7 uh in many of these areas. So I'll update my, my tier list and um probably put Dolores way higher than that. So let's continue on guys. Check on the website workcodex.com. I always have a link down below. We have our pity tracker, we've got artifacts listed, we have all the heroes listed with specific filters that you can search for let's say you're looking for the cleanse let's say reset this looking for burn heroes this is a good example look at that all of these heroes have a burn in one way or another it might be awakenings it might be their skills awakenings are being added as we speak and we will have that soon up on the site so Elowin, okay let me show you on how to use her also the wood elf that she provides is just insane 
insane value. It's actually an extra hero that you can summon regardless of the cap of heroes that you have. It's an untargetable wood elf that literally just stands there and heals on the map wherever you want to place a melee unit. So quite cool. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> Let me show you on how she works for the guild boss. We're going to do a nightmare for run. And this is my setup that I usually use. What I want to do now is let me move over here. There we go. I'll move over here. The reason that I move here is that I want to show you guys the ultimate bar. You don't really need to look at the heroes that I'm, I'm using, but I want to show you guys the ultimate. So the idea behind the, um, the clown boss, okay, the guild boss, is that you're placing units all well together in order to, of course, get the benefit from Dolores, guys. But also, they, you, you want your heroes to be bunched up so that they get the benefit from Laurel and they also get the benefit from Eloin. So Laurel provides a benefit from when you are picking her up. This talent gives surrounding allies with a 50% restoration to rage just by picking her up from the map. So the idea is to rotate between Eloin and Laurel to give as much rage as possible while also having a constant healer on the board, which that will be Hollow right here, where she provides rage through her ultimate ability. So this is not the, the tactic that is used currently. The tactic that is used is also using an assist unit, but I don't want to show you guys that. We're just getting into more and more, um, you know, deep into how to do that but let's go and have a look at this specific with Eloin and laurel i think those are accessible everything else you just fit in with what you have available okay and remember in terms of gearing let me just show you uh you want to go for he some healing effect i wouldn't go crazy as i did i just had a healing effect uh bangle if you have something like attack bonus here it's it's better but this one had attack bonus at 27 percent attack speed rage regen uh, so that was kind of nice stats. Um, I got some attack speed that helps with the heals. And then I have a low amount of um, of total attack to about 11,000. I don't think that it's a great amount. But um, I also have a good amount of rage regen and healing effect. Rage regen helps you get your ultimate so the heals become more frequent through your ultimate ability. And then your artifact, the Euphoric Orb here, to give attack speed to all heroes in range by 30 every 60 seconds. It's not that much, but I'm slowly upgrading it. Obviously, uh, eventually you want to max that out. So that's it in terms of gearing. Um, the other two slots here, I use HP bonus percent, guys. I don't think the heals are so important on her. I believe that HP bonus is more important for her to be surviving the big hits. She's got 38,000 health, which is about what Vortex would have regardless because he's an HP based healer. So you want her to be surviving and on, on Nightmare 4, she is taking some damage. That being said, her awakenings also give her, after using Grace of Nature, reduces damage taken by 20%. That is very strong awakening. And then we have um, each basic attack launch has a chance to dispel, very strong. Rage regen, also nice. Obtain a Wood Elf immediately after using Grace of Nature. So your ultimate and then you get the Wood Elf and then you use um, you know, lots of healing, like a burst of healing, basically, that you want to be doing. But it's not important to have an A5, all right? A5 is for the whales. We are not whales, okay? Uh, let's go in there, and I'll show you my setup, and how I set up Eloin on the board in order to benefit all of my heroes um, specifically. So let's look at it like this. I drop in my... Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's, let's drop her like so, so that now my, oh, did a mistake there. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> let's go again. So um, you want to be dropping your heroes immediately on the board as soon as possible, just so that you can start getting this 10% attack buff. This is, this comes from the invigoration set. Okay. So look at that. Um, by the way, they fixed the invigoration set. So regardless of what you're placing, every hero now will be getting the invigoration bonus. So as you can see, I'm trying to trying to feel every everyone's position so that they will get the bonus when the time comes. And then look at this. Okay, I pop my 
my first two ultimates, withdraw Laurel immediately, start popping all the ultimates there. I use the that button that, that just pops all the ultimates. And then that's that's Elowin's uh, basically placement. This right here heals everybody. And while everybody's in her range, she is also providing them with rage passively because she's maxed out. Even my Twin Pin, who's on the far end, gets that bonus. Everyone now has a 10% attack bonus as well. So let's pop the ultimate. Not that it does matter in terms of rage region. It helps with... Um, it helps with healing because we are taking damage and I have holo here, but I mean, she's, she's doing her best. So as we can see, we go through the first shield. There we go. I've got my ultimate there on Dolores. And I mean, just make this a little bit smaller. There we go. Ultimate on Dolores. I can start popping ultimates again. Doesn't really matter. Um, so much at this point. It matters if you've got your ultimates in about 50 seconds from now. I want to have my ultimates. So let's see. I hate how how slow um, Cetram is with his ultimate. So here I have my Laurel available. What I'll do is I'll probably withdraw Elowen right now. Just having a look at everyone's um, Ulti bars right there. Let's pop her. All right, let's withdraw Elowin. And in about 20 seconds, remember the timers, guys. Four minutes, seven seconds for the first shield, 250 for the second shield, and 130 for the third shield. You got to have that in mind for your rage regions. I drop in Laurel and then I withdraw Laurel basically uh, almost immediately. It's going to Push the ulti there on, on my boy Silas. And then I'll pop the Cetram ultimate at about 250. I mean, it's fine. Uh, and that will help me push through the shield way quicker. There's Dolores ulti also. Come on, where is it? 248. Yeah, 249. That, that, did you see the shield just evaporated? Because you want to have your ultis all up at the same time. Only my... My uh, Silas didn't have his ultimate, but I mean, he's still doing great deals of damage there. And then we have about 20 seconds, 30 seconds until uh, Elowin and Laurel are available, but I should be fine. I'm just doing as much damage as possible. So we are the 230 mark with about 26,000 blood. That's what I want from my one key team. And uh, I'll probably pop the Dolores again. Have my Elowin now available. I still have 10 seconds on Laurel. What I want to do is drop them both at the same time, basically, so that I can recover them at the same time. So look at that. All my ultimates almost are available. Let's drop Hollow. Gotta withdraw the her. Only Silas is not tuned there, which might be a mistake, but let's see can see how quickly I recover my rage because of Laurel. And now I drop just Elo in there just to have her be, be providing the rage region at all times. Even if you've got your ultimate going, your rage region will be, will be available. So let's see, we've got 10 seconds. I should be able to recover some more with Hollow. Right there doing her, her, her ultimate. Let's go Cetrum. We'll see with Dolores if we can get that going. Mm, Dolores didn't get the, the rage there, but I should be able to go through the shield. And in about 20 seconds, I'll have everything available. Oh, look at that. The shield is not going quickly. Um, mm, I could have waited a little bit on the ultimate, I guess, there. That wasn't very safe, but look at that. We're at 40,000. We have about five seconds or so. And this is like the final minute. That's where you, you want to be waiting a little bit. You want to see your ultimates. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. As you can see, 25%, that's quite low. 59%, that's where you want to see your Laurel. I mean, this is the Wood Elf, by the way, that does the heals. It's not that it, it really matters, but um, it does help. 
with heals sometimes depending on what healers you have available i'll drop in laurel and then i have 45 seconds basically i could pop dolores and, and then wait there's dolores could have waited maybe on lo in a little bit i think could have gotten a little bit more damage out of that but We'll see. Uh, we'll see if we can get the 50k out of this one. Should should be right. See the heels are going through. We are 48, 49,000. See how low we're dripping. Um, okay. Yeah, we're doing much better than than I thought actually. All the ultimates should be done. I got another Dolores ulti. See how. How that does, we got six, six seconds. Can I pass my 52K? Ah, almost. I think I, I think I barely passed my, my number one damage that I ever did was 52,000. So this is 52,492, barely, barely more. I wouldn't really count it, but this is my highest uh, dragon damage. And I, there was a lot of room for improvement there in terms of the ultimates and when to use them. Obviously, the heroes matter. Let's have a look at the healing. 1.6 million there, but Hollow, which was on the board at all times, did 2 million. So you can see how how strong the heals are from Elowin. Just because she's on there on the board, you also have the Wood Elf, which I didn't use. That's also additional healing that you can provide all over the map. That's what I, I really like about her. Like the, the Wood Elf that you can place wherever you want. It's crazy. Also very strong on the Void Rift. There's one specific boss fight where the boss applies the toxins on you. You got to dispel that as soon as possible. As I said, like four heroes only have that. So with Elowin, she's the key there. She's also very strong in, in campaign. Um, not specifically for 917, but any stage really where you want additional healing. Like you want to go in there and you want to have like your healer somewhere to heal your allies, obviously. But... Having that extra wood elf somewhere in addition to everything else just so that you can provide that extra healing. It's just crazy good. I think it's the best thing possible. So let me just show you. Um, let's see how, how we're going to place this. Let's see. Let's, let's say we do this. I think this guy's going to go that way. That might be interesting. Uh, I let him through. It's all right. It's all right. We're just doing, we're just doing it for the video. Elowin is not even healing there, so like Vortex would have been better in terms of range. But look at this. I have my Wood Elf now available, right? Have my Wood Elf. So let's say I wanted to heal these two there. Look at this. The Wood Elf can go wherever the melee units go, and the amount of healing is 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 actually nice. I'm not sure if you could change the rotation of the Wood Elf. I don't think you can. But I mean, I could place it here. Once this is gone, this is from the artifact on Zillitu. Uh, I mean, you heal like that. It is just crazy good, crazy good. I just need a little bit more um, skill skill crystals on Elowen to get that cooldown even further down. So that's another usage for her. Just fantastic healer, I want to say. That's why I, I think I rank her number one on the board. And she should be... She should be number one. I mean, the, the use on her, it's just fantastic. So that was the video, guys, on LON. What do you think of LON so far? If you've been using her, where do you use her specifically that you find is just fantastic? Other than the guild boss, I want to know that in the comments. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.